Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the International Government Chuck Challenge. And today I am doing France. So I got this beer. It's a pretty popular French beer. They have it in um, you know any grocery store out here in Los Angeles, any supermarket. Pretty popular French beer out for expert. It's called the Cronenberg. 1664 look check this out it comes in different uh forms like bottles single bottles uh, i believe 12 packs whatever six packs i decided i got that from bevmo and i decided to uh get a four pack just like that four cans uh i think and I, I i believe i never tried it before but it sounds super familiar uh cronenberg 1664 I did a little bit of reading on it uh, on the internet French beer they have a couple of different types of beer now when I went to Bevmo they had this which is I think that's like the original and they had another type that was like Kronberg 1664 with like uh, some caramel flavor some weird thing like that I decided not to go with that because I'm not really interested in uh, the whole caramel pumpkin spice all that abstract stuff i like beer plain beer so let's go france the grub i'll come back i'll get back to that in just a second real quick few words about the grub this is french bread which basically like uh, um some toast uh french bread you know with some cheese and um it's toasted French bread. Cannot explain it in words. You just gotta look at it, and it's basically that's what it is. Um, again, French food is there's so much French food and all kind of different French food that I can talk about until I'm blue in the face. So I just decided to go really quick, really to the point. French bread with some um, what you call it, uh, French um, herb salami which I got at the John's Marketplace. Uh, imported from France. Now, back to the uh, chug. Blank means white. So I'm assuming it's like white beer. And here, another, uh, um, let's see, malt beverage with natural flavors, 5.0% alcohol by volume. Uh, fresh and fruity, huh. What do you know, look. Fresh and fruity. Anyway, let's pop it open and let's see. It sounds so familiar. I'm sure I've tried it at one point or another. But then again, look, France is known for wines and all that, but um, you'd be surprised. When I, I did a little bit of reading and I was trying to find out about French beers, and there's quite a lot of uh, different uh, beer brands out in France. So I didn't know that, but uh, I kind of saw, I kind of saw this beer around in the grocery store so yeah let's give it a try let's pour it see what it looks like as always I'm super thirsty but this is supposed to be a very interesting beer it's not really your casual uh, oh look at that it looks like it's not filtered or yeah wh white white beer so um, you know kind of uh, like the hef wheat beer holy moly look at this color look at this color wow it is certainly weird all right i'm gonna let this foam settle down a bit let's see Cronenberg 1664 blank white Malt beverage with natural flavors, 5.0% alcohol by volume. It's, uh, I think, half a liter can. What else? What else? Let's see. Where is brewed and who brews it? Uh, da 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 da. Cronenberg Supply Company, France. It's not in Paris. It's uh, Auburnay. I guess to see. Like that, never heard of it. Um, Kronberg Supply Company. Okay, anyway, enough with the talking. Let's start chugging. It smells good. It smells fruity. Oh, there's a foam in my nose. It smells fruity a little bit.
Wow, it's... It's kind of weird. It tastes like... It tastes like orange juice. Straight out orange juice mixed with beer. I don't know if it's a drink, but if it is, that's what it tastes like. Again, as I said, I'm not really a fan of all these abstract beers with all these, like, all the fruity flavors, all the spices, and all the uh, sweet flavors. But nonetheless, this is, like, kind of refreshing. Tastes like, you know, it's like you can just quench your thirst with a big glass of that stuff on a hot day. It's really refreshing. It's like drinking soda or something. Anyway, here's the French bread. I'm gonna try that. I think what I was planning is this you know, French herb salami that I got at John's Marketplace. Imported from France. I don't know if I'm doing it right. As far as French food goes, but it's certainly good. So let me know in the comment sections. In the comments section, rather, let me know if I'm doing it right or not. Mm. French bread is pretty good. Mm, show you guys real quick. There's basically a ton of cheese on it. No garlic bread, but. French bread. So that's for the chug. I'm sorry, for the grub. Take the chug. Like I said, it's very, very abstract. Hmm. Oh, excuse my French. Anyway. It's like, wow, I can't really, I, I can't get a reading on this. It's so weird. I think they have a different type, because I remember trying something like that. I think I, I've tried it in Europe, because I even have a beer coaster of that, which I think I tried it in some bar. Cronenberg, 1664. Um, maybe this is just like the white beer type, but hey. I don't know. It's pretty good. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, the, the color, it's um, like unfiltered, but it's very fruity, and it feels like as if on a freaking hot day, I could just chug it and just feel so refreshed. But anyways, uh, that's it. Mm. Let me know in the comment section if um you know of a good iconic french beer because i'm not really aware of it i did a little bit of research but i couldn't find any in my local stores where i go for my beers that's about the only one that i found i might try the their sweet version with a caramel and all that in the future got another big chug for you guys cheers Ponce. It is certainly, certainly good. I gotta say, it's nice, weird, fruity taste. So anyway, Kreinberg, 1664, International Grub and Chuck Challenge. Go get yourself one of these, try it. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe, France, International Grub and Chuck Challenge. Cheers, let's go.